Hey now, this video started somewhere else entirely. What I'm focusing on here is a facility in Area 11 of the Nevada National Security Site labeled as a dense plasma focus facility. I came across it while examining Yucca Airstrip, where a nearby feature initially looked like it might be an entrance to a much larger structure. When I went back and looked at it historically, the context shifted, but it didn't answer everything. In this video, I'm going to walk through the site using historical imagery, look at how it's changed over time, and explore what its layout might tell us, not just about the facility itself, but how it can connect to larger infrastructure of the Nevada test site. What is uh, a dense plasma focus facility or system? Uh, they are systems that use short, high current electrical discharges to generate brief plasma events and radiation bursts. Whatever that means. <laughs> Facilities built for this type of research, this is what's important. Facilities built for this type of research often emphasize shielding and containment, which can influence how structures are arranged and how much of the, how much of the infrastructure is built into the terrain. And so knowing that about what type of research might go on here, let's dive right into looking at the structure itself. Uh, this is the airstrip that I was originally looking at uh, that uh, and it, it just happened to follow this road over here and zoom in on this and you I didn't see it right away but those are berms and uh, I, I, I assume they are entrances and zooming out a little bit more I just happened this caught my eye and you can see another berm that's another entrance or exit and I think it's an exit because this road looks less used than this one, I mean, this is fully paved. What's also interesting about this is, look at the dirt tracks. Um, there's a lot of traffic here, barely any over here. So maybe this isn't a drive-in facility. Maybe this is you park and you walk in. And that would make sense for a type of a research lab, right? But as, as we look back in time, it'd be hard to believe that, it, it just, I feel like it's part of a bigger, underground infrastructure uh, we're starting in 2023 and i'm just going to go back here and keep focused here this is what's important and some of these get some really good angles on here you can see him even more there always do that Look at that. See, that shows they're they're pretty tall. This one looks smaller. You know, maybe you go in here, out here. Something is there. So that's almost 20 years ago. That's 20 years ago, right there. Hasn't changed much. They've paved it. And you can see it there in 1998. But again, you know, a gate around this entire thing. That's a, that's a theme we always see in these things. Uh, this one looks, you know, contained and closed. I mean, that used to, oh yeah, it, look, they've even updated. It looks like the old gate, maybe it's just shifted. There may be even be a berm around this thing, but there's definitely a fence around it. Let's jump up here and look at the history of this one and see what stood about this too was the square at first. I didn't even see the berm. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, wow. Um, and, and they got, you know, that's probably for, you know, what I think this was with the dirt, this has got to be the, the security guards or the camo dudes, people that go around here, they probably are allowed in and out of here, but not over here for some reason. You know, what else is in here? Let's look at the uh, alternate entrance. This And look how old this looks and run down. See, there's a great shadow there. I 
you know maybe these maybe this is a drop platform you know that's that's a stretch but probably just uh you know storage area nice flat storage area then you can see some really good shadows there 2006 let's try the uh that weird bug zoom in and out Another good shadow there. Weird layering there. And that really shows some good stuff right there. All right, let's hop over here. This one always has some good stuff too. I, I like this site here. No, it doesn't go back very far. Let's let's see what we can see in 2014. This might not change a lot here. I'll have some timestamps, so check those out. There's another good shadow picture. Those kind of look like the same ones. Very slightly different. Oh, we don't need to look through here. Let's go right to, I'll leave that up to you if you're more interested. Let's go right to trying to check out when it was initially built. So you can definitely see that in 1959, there was nothing there. 1998, that's the same image we have, imagery we have on Google. So somewhere in between there, uh, this facility was built. There was absolutely no infrastructure there. 50s that road here's a little bit maybe this will show us nah yeah, it's cut out maybe it was there in 83 we won't know very cool okay and so for some maybe some some speculation some inferences that we can make if there's only one you know, there's looks like there's an in and out here. This has got to be an emergency exit, so you can probably assume that it's that big, at least, right? Um, and you got a security patrol road. And even if this is here and this goes down, just imagine what this connects into. I mean, over here in one of our here's the device assembly facility. We've covered this. The Yucca Mountain Repository is. Gosh, I can't pull it right off the top of my head. It is in this same area. Here is area 51. It's very close. You know, who's to say that all of this is underground? Maybe it goes all the way up here. Maybe you can, maybe not the whole, maybe, you know, maybe it's not clear, but maybe they have a tunnel, you know, from here and you can get to here and here and wherever you need to go. You can see that we're going to have some other places to explore for the future, <laughs> but if now going with the description in the in the in the beginning about weapon uh, or you know dense plasma research and all that this would make sense they need it would need to be underground it need to be protected but how big how how big does this go how far does it go uh, how can we use this example in other places to infer what's underneath there um, it's got you know the the road stops right there so for some reason this one needs a, a fully paved road. Uh, heavy loads big trucks going in here don't know there's not a lot we can uncover in this one but it does show you a cool example of an underground facility another one yet another one and uh there's no doubt that it, even if it's just underneath there something goes in and underground right there or you know if you have any knowledge on this topic Please let me know if this makes sense. Is this is that what this facility is for? Is that what it was for in the past? In the past, is that what it is now? Um, is there aliens in here? I don't think so. Uh, it, I don't think you'd be able to view it like this. But there's something in there, and it's interesting. Uh, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, like, subscribe, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, check out the Discord too if you're into that thing, type of thing. And, and, and we can we can chat more in there. You can tell me what you don't like, what you do like. 
and we can get into it. Thanks again. Take care. I wanted to bring in one snippet that I forgot to talk about, and it was viewing this thing in 3D. Um, and, and to me, that even stands out even more as if you go in here and the whole structure is underneath here. Because, you, you know, they're, they're probably doing this for safety. If, you know, uh, maybe a bunker buster can't get in here because there's so much rock. Maybe this is solid rock. You know, so that gives him a big pad down. But I, I wanted to put this in there. I, sh I wanted to bring this in first, but it's worth taking a look at. Anyway, thanks again. Take care.